Now let's say you're looking for a new fish boat. Maybe it's a starter boat, relatively inexpensive package, you want the boat motor and trailer all together, something in the 16 foot range. Let's say you want a multi-species fish. You want to go for walleye in big lakes. You want to go for bass in the reservoirs. You want to catch crappie out of the river, whatever. One boat you're probably going to be checking out is the Low Striker. And I see we've got a, a lower fore deck, so we have a little more protection from the water up here. You're not quite as high as on, say, a bass boat. I believe if I noticed earlier, no matter where you sit on this boat, you can reach a live well, right? Absolutely. Uh, you have a live well located right here in the, uh, in the rear deck, and then in front of the driver console right there uh, is another live well. Aerated live wells. And, uh, as I understand it, a lot of boats in this size range of this type, they're going to have a beam of about 48 inches, right? Yeah, that's right. It gets a little wobbly when you're standing up and going back and forth. Yep. How did Lowe address that issue? Uh, this boat actually has a 55 inch bottom on it and a 74 inch beam, um, which, which puts this boat, you know, in its class way above the competition for sure. And I noticed when we were out running, and, and you can see it on tape, this is quite a su surprisingly stable boat for a 16 foot one inch LOA boat. Yep. One of the things I really loved when I got on this boat was this nifty little feature here. Look at this. The seat stays down until you pop the button in and pull it back. Tony, that is a great feature. I love it. Absolutely. Uh, when you have those straps on the front of the seats, a lot of time when you take those fishing seats out, people tend to use them as handles, not designed as handles. You end up pulling the snaps out of them, then you have nothing to hold your seat back down. They always break. This is great. One of the nice little details I spotted on this boat is when you pull open the anchor locker, they not only drilled a hole so the water can drain out of there when you put away your wet anchor and line, they also lined it with a piece of rubber, a little grommet, so that you won't cut your hand on the rough, jagged edges if you reach down there and happen to run your hand across it. Now, Lowe uses this gunnel as, as the handhold, and they've shaped it nicely. I can wrap my fingers in here and really grab and get a grip. If this were my boat, honestly, I'd add another handhold. I'd want something right here to be able to really grasp onto. But I like this layout, I like the design. Now, you've got a really large access hatch back here in the aft deck gives you good access to your fuel tank and your battery. The downside is the rigging kind of gets in the way of the hatch. Now it's not a big deal. You just move it out of the way and you got to move it out of the way again when you get in there. A little bit of a trade-off. gives you easy access in exchange for having to fight that a little bit, but the rigging wires are going to be somewhere. So in my opinion, it's, it's a good trade-off. So this is really just kind of a, a back to basic style bass boat uh, or fishing boat. And, uh, I don't know. Smooth ride, good handling, good speed. <laughs> I'm not trying to blow your hat off, I promise. <laughs> now we tested the Striker with a 50 horse Merc, the maximum horsepower available on the back of the boat. What we found was we had a cruise of 27.2 miles an hour and we were burning 3.2 gallons per hour. Now that's pretty darn good. That shakes out to about eight and a half miles to the gallon. You're going to get better mileage with the boat than with some of the tow vehicles that bring it to the ramp in the first place. Now the low striker package, look, it's not a big water boat. It's not the fastest boat in the world. But look at the package you're getting, a trailer, a 20 horse Merc, and the boat for eight grand. I mean, come on, your monthly payments are going to be lower than your electric bill. So this boat allows you to get in the game for a very low cost.